Shalom, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase you, the Lord honor you. I bring to you today the prophetic word from God. is speaking to somebody today that is depressed, somebody that is going through anxiety, somebody that is going through a lot of worries. The Lord said, I should tell you, that thing that is worrying you, let it go and let me in. Let it go and let me in. I do not know what has prompted that depression. I do not know what has made you to actually be in that state of worries and um, all manner of challenges. But the Lord Almighty say, I should tell you, no matter what be the source, the root cause of that depression, let's go and let me in. Oh, they have cheated you. They have dumped you, they have abandoned you, they have robbed you, they have looked down on you. You are just shattered and battered. God said, I should remind you that He is still the God to whom vengeance belongs to. And He said, I should speak to you this word in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6. He said, Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, just let that request of yours made known to me. Cast that burden on me because I care. Every other person may have left you. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to know how you're faring. Nobody wants to know what is happening around you. God is saying to you and I, forget it. Anxiety will not solve it. You getting yourself depressed, giving yourself high blood pressure will not solve it. Because there is none of us by thinking can be able to solve our problems. So God is saying, instead of getting depressed, instead of um, getting worried, instead of being anxious, by prayer, by supplication in the spirit, blowing in tongues of the spirit, ah, dealing with strength forces, negative energies around you, generating those negative feelings. He said, by prayers and supplication, let that request, let that petition, let that thing that you want to happen to those that have offended you be made known unto me. And he said, when you make the request known unto me, he said, I, the God of peace, will give you this peace which passes all understanding. And I shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Yes, that anxiety is from the wicked. It's from the wicked. He wants to distort your focus. He wants to distort your belief system. He wants to distort everything at all that God Almighty wants to do for you. Because the Bible says that it is with joy we will draw blessings, treasures, increase from the well of salvation. And the devil knows that when you are angry, you cannot be able to draw vessels. You cannot be able to draw blessings. You cannot be able to draw miracles. And that is why he has taken away your peace. He has brought in confusion. Beloved, our God is not the author of confusion. So today God is saying to you, let's go. Allow me to take over the vengeance. Let's go. Bring me in by prayers. Bring me in by supplication. Bring me in by thanking me. Because you know I am always available for you. You know I have not forsaken you. You know I have not abandoned you. And I will never abandon you. I am a present help in the time of need. My strength is made manifest in your weakness. Invite me in. That's what God is saying to you today. 
And may this word from the Lord Almighty bring you peace round about. May it bring healing to you. And may the Lord Almighty arise for you as you surrender your battles to him. As you cast your cares unto him. May he arise for you and show you care. And show you love. And prove himself mighty as the God that answered the prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. It is settled. God bless you for staying to the end of this prophetic word. I believe this word has actually blessed your heart. If today is your first time of coming across this YouTube channel, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Please, I want to encourage you to consider being part of this family. Just click the subscription button and subscribe. Like this video so that it can actually be more visible to more people that God wants to communicate this word to and to bring them encouragement and a new life. Please click the like button. Share to a friend that is going through depression, that is going through um, problems. This word can actually encourage them. And don't forget, if you're, today, if you're actually a returning subscriber, I love you. And for every one of you that are subscribing today, I love you. God Almighty bless you. See you next time. I am still your sister, Apostle Maka. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye. For you.